I might have mentioned before the perception of Donald Trump in this country, given by media outlets, isn't what lines up with reality. Um, even Channel 4 have given this, this slight misconception, especially with uh, the impeachment inquiries. Now, they're saying, or they've said uh, in, in a report I saw, that uh, most people are against it. Okay, yes, but context is important. When Nixon uh, had his impeachment, in the very early days, most people were against it. And then more and more evidence came to light, and now no one disputes that Nixon, or at least no one credible, disputes that Nixon should have absolutely been impeached. There are people who still defend Nixon, and they are actually in the Trump administration right now. Uh, but that's important context to have. It's also important context to note that his base will flat out ignore every horrible thing that he's done. His base will completely ignore that migrants are being thrown into cages. They, they, they think it's all made up by, by the media, by the liberal media. To, to smear the great and honourable leader. Trump has said before he could kill someone on whatever, I, I want to say Fifth Avenue in, in broad daylight and he'd get away with it. With his base, yeah, he would. He absolutely would. So context matters. It's also important to note that in multiple different polls, the, the tone shifted just in three days. That is incredibly important context, but it's something that a lot of media outlets and certainly Channel 4 have left out uh, during that particular segment. Because that shows the tide going in a significant way. The memo that Trump released, or the Trump admin released, now it wasn't a transcript. It wasn't word for word verbatim. It was an edited and approved memo. Now I've said this before, if all you know of Donald Trump is what we see from uh, outlets like um, like Sky News, like BBC, especially BBC, uh, even Channel 4, you don't quite understand how stupid this man is. And he is a real idiot. This man went bankrupt owning a casino. This man has failed in every single business venture he's ever been a part of. This man's stupidity knows no limits. An absolute moron who incriminates himself multiple times a day. And I'm going to get back to that in a minute. So, perception plays a massive role. Now, him putting out this memo, it was so important to also note that this pre-approved memo that he thought would clear him, damned him. Prosecutors have come out and said, no, we've, we've crucified people for admitting a lot less than what's in this memo. Figuratively, of course. Um, Trump fucked it. There, there is no way out of this unless you want him to walk. Uh, so when they come out, uh, especially in that segment, and saying this could hurt the Democrats, yes, it could hurt the Democrats, because Nancy Pelosi could go back to her default position of protecting Donald Trump and screw this whole thing up. That will absolutely destroy any uh, respect or any power that the Democratic voters would give to the Democratic Party, to the DNC. Because why would you vote for a party that props up Nancy Pelosi when she refuses to, to to represent the country because that's what she's been doing for the last three years now when it comes to uh twitter again numerous accounts of him admitting he's broken the law he's violated the constitution that would be enough to to indict a sitting president that would be enough to start impeachment proceedings and i've given an example uh before of why monuments is such a big thing Donald Trump took personal gifts from the Saudi Arabian government. The Saudi Arabian government, a little while later, murdered 
brutally slaughtered Jamal Khashoggi, an American citizen. And Donald Trump took the side of Saudi Arabia over his own intelligence agencies. Because they gave him gifts. That's why the monuments is such a big deal. Nancy Pelosi could have crucified him just over that. But she didn't. And that's how it can hurt the Democratic Party. If she ruins this, which... And to be fair, now this is just speculation, but to be fair, she already seems like she's trying to do that because she's keeping this impeachment inquiry incredibly limited. There's no reason for that. You could do it on the Mueller report. Now again, context matters. You wouldn't get him on collusion because of the Mueller report because Robert Mueller came out and said, look, so many people lied so much that we couldn't tie up this investigation. But there were eight clear accounts, uh, clear accounts of obstruction of justice. That would be enough. Clear accounts of obstruction of justice. If you, if you cover up a murder, you're going to prison. It's the same concept. It's the same principle. But Nancy Pelosi is, is refusing to take in uh, the Mueller account. She's refusing to go through the tax records. In fact, there is, um, I believe it's a mayor in London, uh, not in London, excuse me, a mayor in New York, uh, Deutsche Bank approached him and said, look, we have Trump's full tax history. This, this is something you'll probably want to look at. And this guy has gone, no, I don't want it. Don't want it. Don't even want to look at it. Don't show me a thing. I don't want to see it. It's incredibly important information, valuable information. And this guy isn't a Republican. This guy is a Democrat. Uh, this guy is someone that Nancy Pelosi could put in charge of the impeachment um, inquiry. And that's how they could fuck it up. That's how they could hurt themselves going down the road. Um, but again, shifting it to, uh, to Joe Biden. Yeah, sure. Investigate him. But it's not a one or the other. You can absolutely investigate both people and you can absolutely get it both done. It's not a be all and end all. But this is where the, the, the influence of media plays a strong role. See, back with Nixon, you had journalists and reporters actually doing their job and saying, no, well, this is wrong because of all these different reasons. Now, I mean, hell, Naga Machete, uh, definitely butchered her name but Nagar on BBC came out and gave very very clear context as to, to what Trump actually meant when he said they should go back to their own country because as she pointed out and as a woman of color as a person of color when you hear that it means one thing and one thing only you're not white you don't come from here fuck off and yet she gets into a lot of trouble for saying something so unbelievably obvious. But again, that's the perception that the media has to put out now. The amount of backflips that they have to do to, to protect this person. And it's, it enrages me because there are good journalists at BBC. I've said this before, but when the higher ups are in charge, and the higher ups love American Republicans and love British conservatives. I mean, hell, Theresa May stopped the investigation into Brexit to protect conservative MPs who were involved in it. And the media was quiet. So context matters. And it's, especially with Channel 4, it's... It's really, really disheartening to see that even they won't give full context about Donald Trump, a foreign politician who has clearly broken the law and could have been impeached within the first year on solid grounds. All I can say is when are they going to stop covering for right-wing politicians? <laughs>